In today's video, I'm going to share the one thing I must do with my children every day, and it's something I always look forward to. Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. My name is Jennifer, and I'm the author of the new book, Connoisseur Kids, Etiquette, Manners, and Living Well for Parents and Their Little Ones from Chronicle Books. I'm a homeschooling mom of four children, and I just love being a parent. I really do. I hope that that comes across in my videos. Today I'm going to share something with you. It's something I do every single day with my children. I look forward to it, and it's really changed our lives for the better. Before I share what it is with you, today's video is a collaboration with two of my dear friends here on YouTube, Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home and Nikki Moreno from Inspired by Nikki. So both of those ladies are going to be sharing the one thing that they must do with their children, and I can't wait to hear what they say. Rachel's channel is wonderful. She's got so many videos on home life and decorating and parenting and all sorts of things, and she is just delightful. You know my friend Nikki from Inspired by Nikki. She has a beautiful, inspiring channel as well. Nikki has so many pearls of wisdom to share, and she really embodies uh, the beautiful life philosophy that I write about in my books as well. If you're coming over from Rachel or Nikki's channel, I just want to say hello and welcome, and I hope that you will join us here on The Daily Connoisseur and this wonderful community that we have. Okay, let's get into the one thing I must do with my children. Now, of course, there's many things I must do with my children, and so I'm not just saying that this is the only thing that I have to do every day with them, right? But this is something that I look forward to, and I didn't always used to but I've really changed my perspective on it and it's just been so beneficial for my family. So the one thing that I must do with my children is read to them every evening from a living book. Okay, what on earth does that mean? We all read to our children. I know if you are a parent watching this, you're thinking, well, of course, Jennifer, yes, you read to your children every day. So yes, most of us do read the picture books, for example, to our younger children. And I definitely do that with my boys. I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old, and every night before they go to bed, because they have an earlier bedtime, I sit and I read to them, and it's wonderful. Most parents do this. Now, I'm talking about the older children. So I have two older daughters, and they are ages seven and nine right now so second and fourth grade. And you know, as they got older and they learned to read on their own, they just kind of read to themselves before they went to sleep. Now they still do this. They're always reading their own book and they read to themselves before they go to bed. But I started to implement reading out loud to them from living books. So not just taking one little standalone picture book, for example, because they're kind of too old for that, right? That doesn't hold their interest as much but I decided to just start um, reading living books, good literature to them at night. I'll take a really good juicy book and I just read one chapter to them before they go to bed. We do this every night. I started doing this with history because we homeschool. So we would do our school during the day and then at night I would read a history lesson to them and we really enjoyed it. However, I thought, what if I could change this from reading history, uh, I could do history earlier in the day, and at night we could just read just really good books and get into them, you know? So I thought, let's do this. So I started last year with The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham, and this is a book that I had never read before. I'd only seen the movies and the TV shows and, you know, all those little tiny book adaptations, but I hadn't read the actual book. Well, it is a beautifully written book, deep language, I mean, very intelligent, right? And so engaging. And I was noticing that every night as I was reading the book, it was something that we all look forward to. It was a bonding experience. And it was a chance for them to hear really good literature, not kind of dumbed down for kids literature, but good literature. So we finished The Wind in the Willows, much to everyone's chagrin. And I thought, okay, what am I going to do now? So I had picked up the Little House on the Prairie series for a major discount. I think I got the whole series for $10 at a book fair that I went to. So I thought, let's just start out with Little House in the Big Woods. And so I started out with that. And I know most people read this series to their children, uh, but they usually stop at Little House on the Prairie. So we would read Little House in the Big Woods. We finished it. Then we read Little House on the Prairie. We finished that. And now we read Farmer Boy. And as I'm shooting this video, we are two chapters away from finishing it. I don't want this book to end. This is such a good book, by the way. If you have children, 
Oh my goodness, you have got to read Farmer Boy. People don't read Farmer Boy. They read the Little House on the Prairie books. Um, we plan to go through the entire series, all of them. It's just amazing. The difference when you read one chapter a night of a living book, it's exciting and, and it's bringing up so much discussion about history. So we talk about Almanzo and his life on the farm. We talk about how life was so different back then. The difference between, you know, what the children had to do, the difference between learning and schooling and, and homemaking. I'm learning so much from Almanzo's mother in this book. So basically the girls and I snuggle up every day. We read a chapter. Sometimes we read two. It just depends. It's an activity that brings us closer together. It's really setting their affections for good literature, for enjoying books. And it's something that I just plan to do forever. So we <laughs> We just do it every night without fail. I make it a priority. Even if I've got a lot of work to do at night, it's something that we just do and we love it. So if you are not in the habit of reading to your children at night, I know a lot of people are really busy. You know, if your kids go to school, they come home, they have homework, they're tired. You know, you're tired. Maybe you've worked all day. It might feel like the last thing on earth you want to do. But when you start this, just pick a good book, whatever you want. And I'll have a list of some really good read alouds down below. Just start it, commit to one chapter a day. Lion, Witch in the Wardrobe, Swiss Family Robinson, whatever it is. Uh, you know, you can read to them one chapter a day and it's going to be something that you could probably do in a month. So this book has 29 chapters. So it's a book that we finished in a month and you get into that rhythm and it's just a wonderful bonding time for you and the kids. As the girls get older, I look forward to having the books getting a bit more mature too. We're going to do Anne of Green Gables. You know, we could even start to do Jane Austen books and all of that. So this is something new to our routine that has completely changed our life for the better. It's something that I must do with my children every single night. I hope that you found inspiration from this. If you decide to implement this into your life, let me know in the comment section down below. I know a lot of people are doing that with connoisseur kids and we are doing that too actually. So you just take little bite-sized chunks of it and do it with your kids and it's so fun. So this is not a fiction book. This is um, a non-fiction book, but it has so many activities in it. Truly it's these moments that your children will remember, these bonding moments with them. They might not remember a lot else, but they'll remember reading with you every single night. They really will. And it'll be a very good thing. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur. Don't forget to check out Rachel's video from Sweet and Simple Home and Nikki's video from Inspired by Nikki. Thanks for joining me and I will see you next time on The Daily Connoisseur. Bye everyone.